I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A five-year-old girl from Detroit has become the first child to die from COVID-19 in Michigan. Skylar Herbert passed away at Beaumont Royal Oak after two weeks on a ventilator. Our thoughts, of course, are with Skylar's loved ones and friends, and we are told the little girl developed a rare form of meningitis and brain swelling while battling the virus. Beaumont Health released in a statement saying in part, quote, we are heartbroken that COVID-19 has taken the life of a child. We extend our deepest sympathy to Skylar's family and all others who have lost a loved one to this virus. A Royal Oak Commissioner being asked to resign by the city's mayor after attending the stay at home protest in Lansing. Commissioner Kim Gibbs is defending the accusations that she violated the social distancing guidelines, while Mayor Michael Fournier says he's protecting the citizens of Royal Oak. Photographic evidence is irrefutable. Um, it's completely obvious that she's breaking uh, the executive order, uh, putting our residents at risk. I don't really think there's anything to talk about. Social distancing was maintained. There was no hugging. There was no, you know, fist bumping. There was no elbow bumping. There, there, was, there was no personal contact with anybody. Gibbs says she has no intention of resigning. Now let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. It's going to be chilly as we go into the night ahead all the way into your morning hours for Monday. Those numbers are going to be climbing up into the upper 20s. Could hold on to around 32 degrees in Detroit. Clear skies, calm and chilly. One thing I will mention, that northeasterly flow could cause a concern there for a lakeshore flood advisory for St. Clair County as well as Sanilac County.